gotta stop, gotta gotta stop, gotta gotta stop, gotta gotta stop playing this, gotta stop, gotta gotta stop, gotta stop, gotta playing this. What's up, gamers? I'm John. Welcome back to my Level Up News, where I bring you the latest and greatest in gaming news every day. Today's November 20th, 2024, and we've got an epic lineup of stories. From Gaming of the Year nominations and Starfield's latest update to big news in Genshin Impact and a dry drop for Destiny 1. We're also covering PlayStation Portal updates, Final Fantasy XIV Mobile, Sony's potential acquisition of From Software, and performance updates for Stalker 2. Let's get you leveled up with today's news and don't forget to join our Discord to share your thoughts. The Guardian and CBR report that the Game of the Year nominees have been announced, sparking excitement and heated debates in the gaming community. This year's lineup includes a mix of blockbuster titles, indie darlings, and even DLC remakes, highlighting the diversity of gaming in 2024. Notable contenders include Astrobot, Black Myth Wukong, and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, as well as standout indie hits like Voltaro. The inclusion of DLC and remakes have raised eyebrows with some questioning whether these entries belong in the same category as full-fledged games. However, the variety demonstrates how gaming is evolving and expanding the scope. Fans are already predicting winners while passionately defending their favorites. Who do you think deserves the top honor this year and does the inclusion of remakes and DLC dilute the competition or enrich it? Gaming Bible and IGN reveal that Starfield has hit a massive milestone of 15 million players, boasted by a new update that brings exciting features to the game. The patch introduces achievement-friendly ship creations, a new land vehicle to improve exploration, and fresh quests to keep players engaged. Fans have praised Bethesda for continuing to expand the game's potential, addressing community feedback with meaningful additions. However, some players still feel that certain mechanics such as NPC interactions could use further refinement. With Starfield maintaining its position as one of the year's biggest games, these updates demonstrate Bethesda's commitment to keeping the experience fresh. Are you among the 15 million players exploring the stars? And what's your take on the latest features? Let me know down below. Polygon reports that Genshin Impact's next banner lineup has been revealed, sending fans into a frenzy as they prepare their pyrograms. This update features highly anticipated characters and weapons offering players a chance to enhance their rosters with powerful new additions. The countdown has already begun, with dedicated fans planning their strategies for optimal pools. Hoyoverse has already teased upcoming events tied to the banner, ensuring there's plenty to do beyond summoning. As usual, speculation about drop rates and banner odds are dominating online forums. Are you ready to take your chances on the new banner or will you save your sources for new future updates? GameRat reports that Destiny 1 expansions, including the Taken King and Rise of Iron, have received significant price drops, making them more accessible to players. This move comes amid of rumors of a potential remaster, leading many to revisit the original for nostalgia or curiosity. Fans are praising the reduced prices, calling it a perfect opportunity for newcomers to experience the foundation of the franchise. However, some are questioning whether this signals a winding down of support for Destiny 1. Bungie has yet to confirm what these price changes mean for the game's future. Will this spark a resurgence of interest in Destiny 1, or is it a farewell sale for the classic title? Mashable reports that the PlayStation Portal has received an update aimed at improving its usability and expanding its functionality. The update includes enhanced streaming quality, better connectivity with PlayStation 5 consoles, and additional customization options for its interface. Early adapters of the device have noted these improvements, praising Sony for addressing user concerns since the Portal's launch. However, some critics argue that the device still struggles to justify its price tag compared to more versatile competitors. With Sony continuing to refine the portal, it's clear they're committed to making it a valuable option for gamers on the go. Are these updates enough to saw your opinion, or does the portal still fall short of expectations? Polygon reports that Square Enix has announced a mobile version of Final Fantasy XIV, sparking excitement and worry in equal measure. The mobile adaptation promises to bring the MMO's vast world and rich storytelling to a more portable format. Fans are eager to see how the game's mechanics will translate to mobile devices, with questions about performance and accessibility dominating discussions. Square Enix has teased that this version will feature cross-play capabilities, allowing players to continue their adventures seamlessly. While some are excited about the potential to play on the go, others worry about the potential compromises in gameplay quality. 
Will Final Fantasy XIV Mobile expand the game's reach, or will it be a step too far for the beloved MMO? Let me know your thoughts down below. Games Radar and The Verge report that Sony is rumored to be in talks of acquiring from software as part of a broader partnership with Kadokawa Corporation. The potential acquisition would strengthen Sony's position in the gaming industry, adding the creators of Elden Ring and Dark Souls to its portfolio. Former Blizzard boss has commented that this move could be one of the biggest acquisitions in gaming, rivaling the likes of Valve or Nintendo if realized. Fans are speculating about what this could mean for From Software's creative freedom and future titles. Sony increasing focus on gaming and anime suggests a deeper strategy to unify entertainment under its brand. Could this be a game changer move for Sony or is it too much ambition to pull off? Digital Trends dives into the latest performance details for Stalker 2, showcasing impressive benchmarks for high-end PCs. The game's stunning visuals are powered by advanced ray tracing and dynamic lighting, creating a hauntingly immersive experience. However, players with mid-range setups may need to make sacrifices in quality to achieve smooth performance. Developers have assured fans that optimization patches will continue post-launch to ensure accessibility across hardware tiers. With its atmospheric gameplay and detailed environments, Stalker 2 is shaping up to be a must-play for PC gamers. Are you ready to brave the wasteland or will your hardware hold you back? Let me know in the comments down below. And that's a wrap for today's gaming news. From Game of the Year nominees to Final Fantasy XIV Mobile and Stalker 2's PC performance, we covered a lot. Don't forget to join our community on Discord to share your thoughts, connect with other gamers, and get exclusive updates. The invite link is down in the description. Drop a comment below, hit the like, subscribe, and tap that bell so you don't miss out on Never Up News. See you next time, gamers. Gotta stop, gotta, gotta stop, gotta, gotta stop, gotta, gotta stop playing this. Gotta stop, gotta, gotta stop, gotta stop, gotta play this game.